To me, there's nothing more satisfying than being hardcore. There's nothing more satisfying than going out every day like there's no tomorrow. You need to increase your investment into the war mentality. So when hard times come, it's a cakewalk to you. And when you learn how much resilience you really have, you can apply that widely to the various pursuits that you have. And you will see fruit. When you know on the planet Earth, there's a motherfucker somewhere getting it in when they don't have to, they're getting it in simply for the reason of they want to fucking beat you. Yeah, yeah, you should get it in too. If you're vicious in the gym, you're going to be vicious in your work because you're taking that ethic to everything that you do. Success is a pursuit, not a destination. And when you're in good physical shape, you're used to being on the pursuit of hard things. Fighters really know what they're made of. Not everybody's gonna understand, but the real will gonna understand because we're going the leadership class. We're not here for losers. We're not here for people who make excuses. I was born in the ghetto. Yeah, well, is that as bad as Hergesa? Is that as bad as Somalia? Huh? Is that as bad as the motherfucking favela in Brazil? Nah, quit complaining. We don't have time for excuses because here's the thing, nobody cares. No one cares about your excuses. No one even cares about you half the time. People having all that sympathy for you. I ain't got no goddamn sympathy. But the question is, do you care about yourself? And if you do care about yourself, show love to yourself. This is love. Tough love involves hardening yourself so that when the life hits you, when life gives you problems, you can return fire. You're prepared. You can laugh in the face of challenge. So yeah, I want to introduce you to this lifestyle, to this mindset instead of the weak shit that you're used to. The challenge is that in our soft lives, we become exceptionally weak and we don't admit it to ourselves. I sometimes laugh at the excuses I make in my head. We have such easy lives that it allows us to slip into being fragile. Most of the things we consider attempting are not as hard as they seem in our mind. The more you put yourself to the test, you build up the resolve needed to thrive in all areas of life. I wanted to push to the limit right before death. You're not gonna get something because you wanna get it. You're gonna get it because you work to get it. This is not for human beings. This is for God. I like being that kind of man. Put that work in to the point of where it hurts because you're not really doing shit until it hurts. But one thing I can tell you, winners not a, never try to turn off your lights. It's always losers, because they feel weak in the presence of a winner. It's never savages who try to turn off your light. A savage sees another savage and gets turned up on by yeah. A beast sees another beast and says, I want to train with him. I want to go hard like that. Yeah. An alpha male sees another alpha male and says, that's the guy I want to compete with. I'm gonna get to the next level fucking with this guy. But a sucker sees it and inside they feel inferior. Inside they feel small. So they wanna turn your lights off. Because hearing that big talk makes them feel small because they're weak on the inside. Vaginal. Do it like it's the last time you get to do it, like there's no tomorrow. Is it leg day? I say it's everything day. I'm doing everything today. And I'm doing everything tomorrow. Whatever you're doing, go out there to die. True nobility is in being superior to one's previous self, which is to say that you needn't measure yourself against anyone else. Just measure against the man you were yesterday, asking, are you a greater man today? That's step one. So you gotta learn how to play the game while you're injured, which is pretty much what life is like, right? It's getting hurt and being able to recover and get back in the game. Fighting is a true reflection of life. Because in life, sometimes you get hit with things that are vicious, but you gotta keep going. You experience death of your loved ones. You experience poverty. You experience sickness. All kinds of terrible things. But guess what? You gotta keep going. 
I attack everything that's not in line with what I want. Warrior King. And you know what, fellas? Saints, you're gonna have to do the same thing. Only thing I wanted to do when I woke up was get in this gym and do this work. Sun's not up, I'm up. Yeah, gym is completely empty because no one else wanted to get the fuck up and get to work. I don't have mercy on me. I damn sure don't have mercy on you. That's the problem. Some people have too much mercy. I went to bed late, but I still got up early. Believe that, we can all get inspired. I love to see young guys going home. Your goal should be to inspire those who are inspiring. It's gonna take a lot for you to inspire me. As a man, you should expect that you will experience ill health, loss of your loved ones, loss of your wealth, these are challenges that are a part of human life. It is the greatest among us who can take it stoically and deal with it. You will learn the measure of yourself and how you deal with anger and disappointment. Because I've been embroiled in hustle mania, which is the work. Don't you ever take a day off. Motherfucker, I ruptured my Achilles tendon and still was working from a bed. Ain't no goddamn days off in this motherfucker. Life is not about opening. People want to say, my friend, what do I say to the girl? What's the opener? Fuck all that. What's the closer? You get paid for closing. You get paid for delivering. Anybody can open. People all over the world are starting things that they don't finish. Life is about focus. It's about getting the job done. Bring you to completion. Delivering. That's what life is about. At some point, you gotta kick your own ass and say, I'm tired of living yesterday, today, and tomorrow in the same way where I can't tell them apart because nothing happened. I'd much rather have you be a big time criminal than a small time nobody. This life is for living. I don't want you to die before you've lived. Don't sit on your ass at home. Don't ask me how to be disciplined. I told you a million times. Pick a fucking goal and work your ass off toward it. Success takes time. And that's why I'm here to let you guys know that on the road to winning, you have to lose a lot. Winners have lost more times than losers have. It's that they keep persisting. It's no special talent. It's the old fashioned thing called hard work and repetition. The mind becomes fucking strong and hardcore when you make it. There's not a motherfucker on the planet Earth who was born a genius. Every single day is a new story in your life story. And if you're not making any meaning by doing things that are exciting, taking risks, doing things differently, then you're just wasting time. I am going to be who I truly am because I am remarkable. And I'm going to strive every moment to show the greatest part of who I am.